Hi, I'm Debbie and welcome to my channel Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for May 31st, June 1st, and June 2nd, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Scorpios. Hello my Scorpios. So let this, oh not this, this, <laughs> be a testimony to listening to your inner voice because I basically thought over the week, last weekend, I thought I should get my um, videos, like, I should work myself ahead. And then I was like, but I don't like to do that. And then yesterday I saw the dermatologist and I was thinking, I think she's going to do some biopsies. Don't know why, but, and she did right on my face. So, but everything looks good. It's not bad. So just, um, you know, okay. We have four cards that popped up for us. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. I think there are four. Let me count them out. So one, two, three, and four. The first card is the only card not reversed. The other three then are. So let's see what we have here. Now, and three, the reversed ones mean a powerful message for you. First card is the dreamer. Okay, we've been talking, Scorpios, about, oops, I didn't say it. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to change this. But let me go ahead and say it. Um, did I not say it? Okay, I am using my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the cards with Reiki energy, and this is a general reading. It may or may not res um, resonate with you. Take what you like, leave the rest. So, you know, I will not redo this video. Now, the other thing, too, is I want to thank you all for liking, sharing, and subscribing. It really means a lot to me. I really appreciate that you do this, that you take time, and I appreciate you. So thank you. Okay, now let's go back to this. This is the one, the dreamer. This is the fool in traditional um, tarot. This is Archangel Metatron. This is about going on the new journey. And I've been talking about this for you, that things are starting to change again for you. Go and look at the June 1st through the 15th readings too. But this is about you, well, a leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. And we have been saying that a lot for you, you know, you know, uh, you know, Things are moving forward for you and things are coming to you. But I'm also getting, it's like you, you know, this is about, okay, relationships. Relationships could be, you know, again, work, interpersonal, family type of, you know, relationships. But it's like you are starting to move forward. You've been in a, you know, you have held a lot of yourself, you have held yourself back. I feel, I don't mean that for all Scorpios. But there are many Scorpios that have kept themselves in a place that they just weren't allowing themselves to move forward. Now, I'm not saying that to you per se. You know, I'm, I'm saying that to those Scorpios. Remember how sometimes there's that other group? It's like sometimes that my Scorpios have two different types of uh, pathways. So, you know, but there's been this, this one group of Scorpio energy that just, you know, wants to kind of you know, it's like they're seeing that this is the way they should go. And they're just like, no, I'm not going to do that. But now it's like, this is the place. You need to go forward into that direction. And there are opportunities coming to you. Okay, so these three are the ones that are reversed. And here we have the chariot. Now, all of these are face down. This one is seven, divine number. This one is also Archangel Metatron. Now, from, you know, a subscriber, you know, because Metatron is kind of one of those unusual archangels that we don't know a whole lot about. But a subscriber told me that this is some, this is one of the angels, the archangels that actually lived on earth as, you know, and knew about people better than, you know, than the other archangel realm. Okay. Now that, and also Sandalfin. So this one to me, whenever I see this it's like something's coming up fast something's moving forward fast you may not necessarily be able to control it okay but this is talking about an important achievement self-discipline and willpower public recognition but again you know this unexpected opportunity it's like you're being recognized for something and it, things need to move forward and it's like you know you have to go with it you have to go with it okay and two, you still want, but there's, there's, there's some Scorpios back there. Some Scorpios that are listening to this, you're like, yeah, great. I want this. I'm going for it. And then there's this other group, this other part that's saying, no, I'm staying where I'm at. I am not going for it. 
And it's like, I feel like that's stubbornness. <laughs> so, but just your choice. You don't have to. You don't have to. It's just that I really feel whatever this is is going to be an awesome opportunity. Okay, next card is the Two of Air. Okay, and this is this kind of goes again with what we were just talking about. Being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there is no problem. Uh, you know, this is just not necessarily facing things the way they should. And again, like I said, I feel like there's this group of Scorpios that are like, nope, I got it, Deb. I'm going. I'm taking it. You know, hey, open the door. I'm going through it. And then there's this other group that's like, nope. No, no, no. I'm just not going to do anything. I'm not. I'm not. And like I said, I feel like that's really stubbornness. Okay, last card, and this one is also reversed. Life experienced. Experience. So, <sighs> Archangel Shamil, things are changing whether you want, whether you acknowledge it or not. Things are changing for you. Things will be changing. It's like that big hand of fate has the, has its hand on your back and it's pushing you through that door. So, a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change, time to spread your wet wings. Now, the thing is, you know, you can face it or you don't have to face it, but it's still going to happen. Of course now, this may or may not resonate with you. Take what you like, leave the rest. But, um... I do feel that there's a lot of my Scorpios out there. They're like, yeah, I'm waiting for it, Deb. And if it doesn't happen, <laughs> I'm sorry. But I really feel like life is moving you forward into a more positive place. I feel like you are actually my Scorpios. I mean, I remember back in 2018 and I'd be like, oh, please, please, please don't let me read for Scorpios, please. And Because you, know, you were going through a lot of stuff. But now it's like, I feel like you're going into the sun. And not, not like going into the sun to be burned up. No, going into the sun so that you can shine. I really feel that way now. So, you know, it's, it's your choice. It's always your choice. I feel like a lot of you will make, those, make the choices to go forward. Some won't. But my Scorpios, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.